Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button, smack the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. If you have time, please pass it on to someone else who may like it too, and drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And don't forget to stay to the end of the video, because at the end, I'm going to read my favorite comments of the day. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's talk about this question that I was asked. A young lady told me she is a Virgo and she's in a relationship with an Aquarius. They've been seeing each other off and on. Um, it wasn't serious at first. At first they were just talking and, you know, messing around sometimes, but in the past couple months, things picked up. So during this time, there was one reoccurring issue for her. He has two exes that he seems to not be over. Now, one of these exes has passed over. She had leukemia and um, she says she died. I don't remember when, but she passed away. And the other ex is still around, you know, still lives in their city. And she said that before he got with her, him and the other ex who he's known since high school. And so we're talking about like a 14 year back and forth. Says he's known this person since high school. So that other ex, the one that's still around, um, he keeps going back to her over the course of the 14 years. He keeps going back to her. And recently him and the Virgo broke up and she said it was because she caught him talking to this ex. And she's really confused about it because she said that he doesn't talk to any other ex. And even when he caught, she caught him talking to the ex, they weren't talking sexual. They were just talking. But she was really upset about it because she was like, I know there's something to this because he doesn't talk to the other exes. He doesn't talk to anybody really, she said. She said in general, he talks to her, his best friend, his cousin or somebody. And she said, but he doesn't have a large circle. And the exes that he has told her about, he never talks to, never contacts. Um, and it's never really a big deal. The only two he ever even mentions is the two that I talked about. So she said to me, what is so special about this woman? Why is he, you know, keep going back to her? Why does he keep on sneaking off to talk to her? What is it about this woman? He said their relationship wasn't good. He said they can't move forward. They can't be together. They're not compatible, whatever the case is. So why does he keep on going back to her? Why does he keep talking to her? What is the deal with this specific woman? Why? What is the deal? So mind you, the two of them are broke up right now because I got a feeling based on the cars, they're getting back together. But anyway, so she was like, what is the deal? And I'm like, let me tell you something. Aquarius generally don't take to people easily. We have a lot of associates. We're very friendly. So when I say that, people are kind of confused because they assume that we do, but we really don't. Most of the time, our circle is really small, depending on the Aquarius, of course. But most of us have very small circles. We have a lot of people we know. We have a lot of associates. A lot of people may know us. But the people that we talk to, people that we confide in, the people that we go to, people that we connect with is really few and far between. So if an Aquarius keeps going back to an ex, in general, it's because they really felt something with that person. And again, that's not every day. We don't find those kinds of connections every day. So if we keep doing that, in general, that's what it means. It means that the Aquarius felt something with that person and your Aquarius may not have ever felt anything before. Or he might have, like me, thought it was love, maybe some infatuation, maybe some codependency, but to really, really fall in love with somebody only happened to me one in almost a half times. <laughs> almost a half, I was close. So he might not have had anybody other than those two. And you said one passed away and one's still with us. So 
he probably goes back because of the emotion, because he feels something with that person, because there's a connection there. We don't connect with everybody. That's the bottom line. So when an Aquarius, you know, comes back, it's because they felt something. And we don't always feel something. And when we feel something and we like what we feel, it's hard to walk away from that, even if the relationship isn't right for us. It's very easy. I'm sure many of you know this. It's very easy to connect with somebody, but find out you're not compatible. Just because you love somebody and have affection and fondness from some for somebody does not mean you're compatible. So you might have feelings, and it sounds like to me they have feelings for each other, but they're just not compatible. So they probably come together. Probably they're okay for a little while. Then the incompatibilities come up, and they inevitably split again. So that's why he keeps on going back, because he's never felt anything like that before so does that mean that you he'll never feel for you actually no it just means it hasn't gotten to that point yet you guys are new you know you just really started getting serious in the past couple months so it's going to take a little bit of time for that type of a connection to grow between the two of you if at all but it takes time so, yeah, he's going to, you know, have that back and forth going on. And you said he wasn't cheating. He was just having a conversation with her. But where he comes out of bounds at is that he told you that he wasn't having conversations with her when you asked him about it. So he's hiding it for a reason. You see, it's his feelings. He has feelings. And he knows he can't be with her. That's why it's just a conversation. He knows he can't be with her. <laughs> they already tried that over and over and over and over again. He knows he can't be with her. But the feelings don't go away. A lot of Aquarius have feelings for somebody that they're not with. Some of us do it on purpose. Some of us get involved with people that we can't be with just because we don't really have to make a commitment. So we can be with them, but we don't have to really commit to them. And some of us just had somebody like him in our life that we cared about, but we're not compatible. So you have to walk away. You have to walk away from a, a relationship. If it's incompatible and you've tried everything and the relationship is toxic, or you've tried everything and it's just not working, at some point you give up. At some point you have to for your own mental health. So he and she gave up, but they never stopped caring about each other. And that's something that may always be there. But, and this is the thing, if he starts to have feelings like that for another person, that connection will supersede the old connection. The old connection is just all that he knows. But if he creates another connection, that connection won't be as relevant anymore. But I can understand where you're coming from because he lied. He could have just been honest about it and just said, yeah. So that's why an Aquarius will return over and over again to a specific ex. I've returned to exes before. Probably in the beginning of my life, I would do it more frequently, uh, but I've returned. I used to be the revolving door Aquarius, but there was only the one and a half <laughs> that I, re I returned to m multiple, multiple, mucho times, you know, other ones maybe once or twice, but those two, like it, the feelings are always there. So whenever I tap into the memory or tap into the feeling, it comes back to me. And then I have to remind myself, whoop, <laughs> don't go there. So that's why your Aquarius keeps on returning. Now, if I were you, I would not get back into a relationship with him until he deals with his feelings. He needs to figure out exactly what his feelings are and how he wants to address them. And he has to be honest about it. He can't lie or pretend. He needs to keep it real. Okay. All right, guys, now let's go over my favorite comments from yesterday. 
The first one came from Hershey Girl. Hershey Girl has received one of the highest numbers of hearts from me. So that means she gives a lot of great comments. She publicly subscribed to me a year ago. So that's what's up. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for being here. So she said, hi, Queen. Thank you for calling out friends with benefits. So many people try to justify it when the reality is you're not really friends. Friends truly care about each other each other's feelings first and foremost, while the friends with benefits, the priority is sex. And I agree with her a hundred percent. I was talking about friends with benefits and I think yesterday's video, and I was talking about how I, I detest it. I think it's the worst thing we ever decided to do as a society, I swear. When we first talk, started talking about it and it was coming up in popular culture, I was with it. But now that I've experienced a number of years doing it and seeing other people do it, I'm not with it. it and she's right. The priority is sex. They're not really friends. And you're negating all your emotions. When you have sex with somebody, it's natural to bond with that person. When you have a friend with benefits, you're always trying to keep them at a distance. You're always trying to keep them back. You're always trying to negate your feelings and act like that's normal and natural. And it's not. That's why a lot of these cases, the two people either become a couple or they not friends no more at all <laughs> after a while. Or it's just off and on, off and on, off and on for years and years and years. So the bottom line is, is that they're really not friends. Is something if it happens where they go as more than friends or the friendship falls apart nine times out of ten and I have a lot of clients who've come to me crying and devastated over a friends with benefits situation so I don't recommend it I think it's awful either be with me or don't <laughs> be with me or keep it moving and the second comment came from Kenneth Johnson Kenneth Johnson said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> that is not me. I'm too grown for that. If I want something, I'm going to get it myself. I don't even roll that way. Even if I feel like someone trying to manipulate me, I will have an attitude about it. And I'm not about to nip that in the butt quick. If you don't have any work ethics to work for what you want, you get no handouts here. So he's responding to the video I did talking about Aquarius got game. And I was saying that some Aquarius will try to use people for money. That was one of the things, money, someplace to stay, a number of other things. But um, Kenneth is an Aquarius man, if I'm not mistaken. He's like, nah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that type. And that's true. There are a lot of Aquarius who are not that type. There are a lot of Aquarius who don't have game, but it's typical for us too. It's common for us to have some game to us. But also remember, having game isn't about money. Sometimes it's about getting money. Sometimes it's about getting sex. It's really not about getting a specific thing. It's really about need. What does that person need? And if the, an Aquarius is low vibrational, which obviously Kenneth is not, if an Aquarius is low vibrational and they need something and they are the type that has that gift of gab, they will try to use somebody to get what they want. And it could be money. Sometimes it is, but it's not usually money. What I usually see is sex. I usually see Aquarius using people for sex, men and women. And that's usually the argument that I get from the person who's being used for sex. So um, it's not just about things. Some Aquarius aren't going to ask you for things. They might give you things. That might throw you off like, well, she was giving me stuff. Yeah, she was giving you stuff because she was getting something from you. Some place to stay, sex, companionship, connection. It doesn't have to be monetary. So don't ever think that. If a person is using you, it's a lot of things they can use you for, not just your cash. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm good, my money in my pocket, think again. Because they could be using you for something else. All right, guys, it's time for us to get going. So if you would like to get a reading done, please email me and I'll hook you up with an appointment. Also, come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.